Hello everybody, welcome back to another light novel review. Today I am reviewing volume number one of I Saved Too Many Girls and Caused the Apocalypse. And this one is by Name Koji Rushi. It's only available in ebook currently for the English market via J Novel Club. In this book we meet main character Rekka Namedera. Now, Rekka finds out that on the eve of his 16th birthday, that He's going to inherit the very next day as he turns 16 the unique properties of his clan's bloodline. See, the men of the Namadere clan, when they turn 16, suddenly find themselves being summoned or getting involved in stories. Stories that require a hero. Stories that usually require a fair maiden to be rescued. Now, the next day, Rekka, of course, is now 16, all of a sudden a girl appears before him, a girl floating in the air. She tells Rekka that only he can see her and only he can hear her, and she's from the future. And she's come back to change the past. Because in the future, Rekka has saved so many girls, and yet committed to none of them, that their jealous infighting has caused the war of all, where literally all of existence is at war with one another and a grand apocalypse is taking place. Now, when you walk into this book, you need to know what you're getting into. This book knows where it's coming from. It knows that it's a harem. It knows that there's certain female archetypes that it needs to have or will have I mean, in this first book alone, we have the childhood friend who secretly harbors a love for Rekka. We have a princess from an alien world. We have a summoner from another reality, another world, who needs to summon a hero to kill her world's demon lord. And then, of course, we have our girl from the future. Rekka himself is not really all that unique a character. He's pretty much like the prototypical light novel harem hero. He's just kind of a good guy. He really just wants to have a normal life. He is kind of embarrassed and really doesn't know what to do with all of this attention from these girls. And you can see where his indecisiveness is going to be an ongoing problem. What sets this book probably apart, and really I found it, it made it really enjoyable, was because it is so aware of where it comes from, it goes big. I mean, right out of the gate, we've got four different storylines that are kind of going on. Well, I guess there's three st main storylines, and then sort of the fourth girl who's from the future is kind of over top of all that, because she accompanies Rekka through all these different stories, right? So immediately we've got four girls already in the harem. We've got three storylines going on. And those storylines not only involve the most powerful magic user on Earth being involved in an intergalactic war and being summoned to another world to kill a demon lord. It goes big. It holds nothing back. And I think the whole inside joke even of the fact that Harem's the male main male, male character is always indecisive. He has to be. Because otherwise, how can the girls vie for his attention? If he falls in love with one of them and dedicates himself to the one of them, then the other girls have lost, and that's the end of the harem. So that is a prototypical thing that we see in harem anime light novels. Well, in this book, they're like, okay, so that's the ground rule. Well, his indecisiveness is going to lead to the end of existence. Again, an example of just taking this typical thing and blowing it way out of proportion. It's kind of absurd and it's kind of ridiculous, but it's also, if, if you let yourself just go with it, it can be a hell of a lot of fun. And the one thing that I really enjoyed about this book was the way that it was laid out and that it was written. 
instead of doing sort of, because you've got sort of multiple storylines going on at the same time, but they involve one main character being Rekka, the book sort of hops from place to place to place. So it's not like it's linear. Like Rekka doesn't solve one girl's problem, then moves on to another girl, then moves on to another. They're all happening simultaneously. So he starts helping one girl, and just as he's in the midst of something, he gets pulled into the story of the other girl. And then he gets pulled into another girl's story. And then that means he needs to return to this girl's story because he's left all this undone. And the book has these separate parts, but as it moves towards a conclusion, it brings them all together and sort of shows you how, in a way, they've all sort of tied themselves together, more so than just Rekka being present in them. It's clever, and it means that the pacing of the book is, it's excellent. It moves very well. I mean, I it was such an easy read just to sit down and have some fun with and burn through and the little things at the end where you're sort of seeing how all of these different sort of stories connect to each other. It made me smile. It was clever. It was fun. Yes, it was over the top. Yes, it was ridiculous, but it was a good time. There were quite a few times where I found myself laughing out loud because again, it's just taking these ideas that you have in all of these type of harems and twisting them and manipulating them and blowing them way, way out of proportion to the point where they're so ridiculous, they're hysterical. So in general, I'd say if you're looking for a book that's just a lot of fun and that you don't need to take too seriously, but it's a nice, quick, easy, light read, uh, light read, light novel, yeah, um, then this could be a book for you. I mean, if you hate harems, if you have no interest in harems at all, you'll probably hate this because... Just taking a look at the volumes that are out in Japan, and there are a few of them. I think it's, I, I should have looked, I know that it's at least like eight, maybe even ten of them. And just looking at the covers, there's different girls on every single cover. So you can see just how absurd and blown out of the way that this whole harem is going to get. It's not just four girls or five girls. It could be upwards of ten or fifteen girls or more. So... If you if you hate harems, don't even bother. Just just don't even bother. But again, if you're looking for something fun, something that's fluffy, that's not going to, you know, really burn your brain out, this is one that I think I can really recommend. So those are my thoughts on I Saved Too Many Girls and Caused the Apocalypse. Uh, the next book that I'm going to be reviewing is... Death March to the Parallel World Rhapsody, volume number one, a brand new book uh, just from Yen on starting this month. So new volume one, new series to start. Reading a lot of new volume ones between the J Novel Clubs and Yen on is bringing out at least one every month, it seems. And now two, Vertical has got, uh, well, just Bage Mono Gatari, I just did that. And then the other Nishio Oishin is coming, Zerigato, or Zerigato, the Kubikiri cycle. I'll be reading that one hopefully in the next week or two. I've got it on order. So, Death March, that's going to be my next review. So if you like what I do here, don't forget to leave a like on the video. If you're brand new to the channel, subscribe so you can check out all of my future light novel reviews. I really appreciate you guys watching the video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now.